guys, welcome back to Geeks War Gaming and welcome to a very special battle report. It is our first 8th edition game. It's big. It's very big. And taking me on in 8th edition is Tom. Um, so I'm taking my Space Wolves. We're doing a 2,000 point game. Um, you don't get much in 2,000 points no. nowadays. It's kind of weird. What are you taking, Tom? Uh, I'm taking my Death Watch. And because you don't get much in 2,000 points, and an elite fast like this, I've got... Uh, 20 models. <laughs> yeah, 2,000 points now is, is 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 tough to fill to decent yeah. force. It's like uh, the old school 1,500, isn't it, in 7th, I think? Yeah, it is. It's quite. It's, it's, it's going to be interesting. Like I say, this is the very first game of 8th, apart from the little demo games mm. that Games Workshop have done, that I've actually played. So I'm actually really, really looking forward to this. Yeah. Um, so a little caveat, if we get anything wrong, still learning. Um, but let's go take a look at the armies. HQ and Warlord for the Death Watch today. We have got the Watchmaster. He comes equipped with a Guardian Spear. Next HQ choice, we have got a Librarian. His psychic powers today are Might of Heroes, Null Zone and Smite. First troop choice, we have a kill team in here. There are um, shotguns, there are... Uh, one guy with a storm shield. There is a terminator with a power fist and an assault cannon. Next troop choice, we have another kill team. In here, there are two terminators, um, both equipped with chain fists. We have a th two thunder hammer guys. We have two frag cannons as well. Third troop choice, we have another kill team again with frag cannons and bolters um, or shotguns. And we have a leader on a, with a jetpack, Vanguard Vet, nice. Fourth troop choice, we've got another kill team, spotting a the theme. These guys come with stalker pattern bolters, and they also have special ammo, which is poison two up. Fifth and final troop choice is another kill team. In here, frag cannons, another leader with a jetpack, and shotguns. Flyers for today, we have the Corvus Black Star equipped with assault cannons. Hurricane Bolters and Black Star Launcher. Um, we have a second one of them as well, exactly the same loadout. Into Fast Attack, we have a three man bike squad, all equipped with power swords. And we have a second squad, exactly the same loadout. Into Elite, we have got the Death Watch Dreadnought with the Salt Cannon and a Power Fist. This is a 2,000 point battalion detachment which gives three command points. HQ and Warlord for the Space Wolves today. I am taking Herald Death Wolf. This guy comes as stock. But now his wolf will get to hit back in combat, which is pretty damn cool. Over to troops. I'm taking a 10 man Grey Hunter squad in here. There is a Power Fist and a Plasma Gun. They will be riding around in a Rhino. Exactly the same loadout for the second Grey Hunter squad. Into Elite, taking a five-man Wolfen squad, two Thunderhammers and Storm Shields, and three with Frost Claws in here. Next Elite choice, I'm taking a Dreadnought, Power Fist, and an Assault Cannon. Third Elite choice, another Wolfen squad, exactly the same loadout as the first, uh, Storm Shields, Thunderhammers, and then Frost Claws. Heavy support, Land Raider. I'm thinking both of my Wolfen squads are going to go in here. Las Cannons tooled up to the nines. These things should be quite tough in eighth. So we interested to see how they get on. And then finally, into Fast Attack, I am taking my six Wolfen squad. Two Power Fists, two Thunder Hammers, two Chainswords, all tooled up with Storm Shields. So this is my 2,000 points of Space Wolves patrol detachment. Unfortunately, I do not get any command points. So in deployment, we're going to talk about the mission as well. We are doing retrieval, which has got hammer and anvil deployment. Everything is down on the board. Uh, first two objective markers in the Space Wolves deployment. One just back here behind the Rhino, which is hunkered down behind the plasma obliterator turret. I've gone big with my uh, Dreadnought. He's uh, at the front of the battlefield next to him. Is the Land Raider with the two Wolfen squads inside. Then the Thunderwolf Cav and Herald Deathwolf. 
Finally, the last rhino and the second of the objective markers. Third objective marker is just out of the Death Watch deployment zone, just in the old roadway. We have got the first of the Death Watch flyers. So the Corvus Blackstar here, ready to zoom around the battlefield, laying down lots of fire. We have the first of the kill teams hunkered down up on the landing platform. We have a squad of bikes. We have the Dreadnought right up towards the front end of the deployment zone. Second squad of bikes as well. Um, behind the Imperial statue, we have the second kill team with the fourth and final objective. We have another kill team mm -hmm. at the back of the board. And finally, we have the second of the flyers hovering above the battlefield, just passing over the top of the Fortress of Redemption. So, it's going to be fun. This is going to be a good game. This is, as I've said before, new to all, well, new to me. So let's head into 8th. So because I deployed first, Space Wolves are going first unless Tom can seize for me. So it's still on a 6 up. 6 ups. He's oh. only rolled a 4. So part of the Space Wolf army is now moving up the battlefield. The Dreadnought has moved his 6 inches. The Land Raider now has gone 10. Wow, that's quite impressive. Thunderwolf Cav now moved 10 inches, not 12. So they've gone up. Herald Death Wolf following them uh, closely behind. And then the two Rhinos have stayed still. Um, so we're going to move into the shooting phase. Lack of targets really from the Land Raider and what he can actually see. Thunderwolf haven't really got any weapons to shoot at all. So it's going to be a very, very quick shooting phase. So now at the end of the movement phase, I'm going to run the Thunderwolf Cavalry in the, well, the advanced phase, as it's called now. So how far do they move? They move five, but I need to roll... For Herald Deathwolf as well, he moves two, so he's lagging behind a little bit. Let's uh, just get these moved, then we'll head into shooting. The Dreadnought is going to be the first man to fire. I've only moved him six. Now he's going to be firing at the Death Watch flyer, so it's minus one to hit. So I'm going to need fours to hit him. And an assault cannon now has six dice. Wow, that's quite impressive. So I need fours. I have four hits salt cannon strength six toughness of this flyer is seven so i need fives to uh, wound him let's see if we get any uh we get one six so tom you get your saving throw for your flyer so my saving throw of my flyer is usually three plus yeah three plus but because it's a minus one rend minus one rend yeah goes to four up i pass it he's passed his saving throw uh so now over to the land raider Last cans. I'm going to open up at the kill team. They're up here on the landing platform because really that's the only thing I can see. So we now have four dice for these last cannons. Hitting on threes. All but one have hit. And then wounding on twos. Yeah. All wounded. So with those three hits, it is minus three to Tom's armour. But they are behind um cover so that's going to be plus one so it's a five up save and there's three wounds tom so you need to allocate wounds to models now so my first shotgunist first shotgun he's, he's alive. alive he takes it again he's alive and again he's alive wow three last cannon shots <laughs> bouncing off the armor <gasps> He's got a little bit excited. Uh, bouncing off the armour or off the off the landing platform. Man, that's going to be everything that really shoots. I've got heavy bolters as well, actually. Yes, yeah, shoot, shoot the heavy bolters. Same target, the to kill team on top of the landing platform. So, again, threes to hit. Six dice now. Threes to hit. All but one has hit. It's going to now be threes to wound. Uh, we have three wounds, Tom. So you have a minus one rend. Minus one rend, yeah. Plus one for cover stays at three ups. So three ups, here we so go. Shotgun is Paul. Oh, this is the shotgun guys. Come on, Paul. Oh, he's, that's he's a alive. Four. Come on, Paul. Oh, he's, he's alive. He's yeah. alive. He's literally tanked everything. Well, the well, the landing platform's tanked everything. Uh, right, that is everything for the Space Wars turn one. So with no casualties taken from the Death Watch, there is no morale phase. So that is the end of turn one for the Space Wolves. That was seriously quick. Uh, let's head over to the Death Watch. The two Black Star Flyers have moved uh, their 20 inches, or minimum of 20 inches. 
So they're still here. They're not in hover mode just yet, but they're here. So with the 360 degree fire, they might be able to uh, shoot Herald Death Wolf in the back, which is a little bit cheeky if you ask me. Um, down on the landing platform, the kill team are down. Over by the statue, the kill team have moved around a little bit. The Dreadnought has moved up, heading towards the Land Raider, and the Bike Squad are with them. The second of the Bike Squads has also moved up. Now, because this kill team are within, uh, have got a Terminator in there, they can yeah. teleport at the end of a movement phase, as long as they're within six inches of another Death Watch unit. Which has a teleport. Which has a stuff. teleport homer. So these guys do. Yeah. And so these guys have gone from over there, teleported, and are now here right in front of my wolfen and they can shoot and they can assault it's just classed as just a move classed as a movement reserves, tactical i think it'll probably get faq'd i think this does need to get faq because this is not deep strike this is not coming in from reserve this is just a movement so these guys have just moved probably about 18 inches something oh, like that easily. easily 18 inches and are now just here um I, death watch is the only chapter that can do this i think yeah, that's right from what I've heard and read. So what we've read, we believe they're the only ones to do it. And it's, this is filth. So these guys are more than likely going to open up here. Maybe they will charge instead. Don't know. Tom hasn't let me know yet. He's got a little <laughs> He's got a little grin on his face. Uh, so Herald Death Wolf's going to get shot. The Dreadnought's going to probably more likely open up at the Land Raider. And then maybe go into Assault. But it's got scenery in the way. So unless that will slow it down. Um, yeah. Those guys, if they do go into Assault, it is minus two because they're in a crater nowadays with the new scenery rules so it's an interesting one it's not going to be that much of a charge it's going to be five so whether or not he'll shoot instead and uh, and obviously these guys this statue now does stuff as well so i think it in, plus one to my leadership yeah plus one to your leadership with all your within six inches of this guy so being on an objective behind that is quite good now that is that's quite impressive so right let's let tom shoot me the first squad to open up for the Death Watch will be the Stalkers at the back. So these guys are going to shoot at the Thunderwolf Cavalry. Now, all the Death Watch on here has the special ammunition. Yeah. So they're going to be hitting on threes and wounding me on twos. Sounds a little bit filthy to me, but here we go. So here we go, hitting on twos. Hitting on threes. No, hitting on threes even. Oh, it's wounding on twos. Um, I wouldn't say that. How many did you miss? You missed four. Mm. And then wounding me on twos. twos. Crack and bolts, Sorry, all wounded. Bolt. Look at them, look at them. There's... They, used, they used to rend, these used to be snipers with rend, so at least they're not Yeah, rend. they're not rending anymore, but there's Big three us. sixes in there. There's three sixes, no uh, AP. So normal save or invuln save now, because yeah. there's zero uh, AP modifier. Yeah. So wounds now I'm going to allocate to this guy first. I'm going to roll these two at a time just in case. So this is a three up. Uh, who's taken a wound? They have three wounds now, my Thunderwolf cab. It's amazing, they've gone from two to three, so those two are okay. Last two. He's taken one wound. He's got two left. Next to shoot will be the bikes. Now, these are rapid-fire bolters, and they're within half range. They're within 12 inches of Thunderwolf Cap. So they're going to get 12 shots. Because there's two bolters, the old twin link rule. Yeah, the old twin link rule, two, two bolters. So that's two shots each. So there's six shots normally. And then, then rapid-fire, half range. That's 12 shots. 12 shots. Hit me on three, wounded me on twos because of Hellfire rounds. Tom brought a tournament list. I'm not happy about this. Oh, there's two misses. Oh no, there's quite a few misses actually. Yeah, it's not, not good rolling by Tom today. These Geeks dice. Day, you leave the Geeks dice alone, yeah. Twos. In on two, wound on twos. There's. Uh, uh, it's all six. Six wounds, wow. That's great. So I'm now back wounding this guy again. I'm going to roll these two at a time, like before. He's fine. He's fine. He's. Oh, he's taken another wound. I was about to say he's fine. That was a two. So he's down to one wound. Next to shoot will be the assault cannon from the kill team. The Terminator's holding on to this one. So threes to hit. Threes to hit. Threes lots to and lots of dice now. Threes to hit. All but one have hit. And then what to win? Uh, twos to win? Three, threes to win because he doesn't have Ah, so he doesn't ones. get his ammo. So it's only threes to win. Still three more wounds, which I'm going to be taking on that same guy who's got one wound left. Three ups. So that guy has fallen. Next is the frag cannon from this squad, and then it'll be the bolters. So frag so, cannon. Frag cannon. Two d six. Two d six. Nine. Nine shots. So you get to do yeah. two d six to see how many shots this frag yeah. cannon gets. So he's now got nine. Wow. Yeah, and these auto hits. These are just wounding on threes. Auto hit, yes. wounding on threes. Yes. Mother of. That's not 
great. Uh, Actually, I'll take that from other rolls. Yeah. That'll be uh, seven saves, if you would, please. Sir. Seven saves. So I'm going to take this on the next chainsaw guy that's in front. Um, so I've got three dice. So first three. Oh, He's fine. And then we'll re-roll them. He's fine. And I've got one more. Yeah. Oh, oh, typical. Takes a wound on that last dice. Next to shoot is the uh, bolt guns, so these are rapid fire range, so they get eight shots. So threes and twos. Threes and twos, because specialist ammunition. I'm not happy about the specialist ammunition, Tom, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it's okay. you know, it's I invite right. you around the house, tickled. you bring specialist ammunition. Uh, five wounds. Five wounds. So here we go, this is on that guy, he's only got two wounds left. He's taken one more wound, so he's down to one wound with two dice left to roll. He's dead. Now, this is going to be important in the morale phase. That's two casualties I've taken. The first of the Black Stars is going to shoot down into Thunderwolf Cavalry. Um, so, I think, Tom, which weapon are you shooting uh, first? Black, Black Star rocket launchers. Corvid Warhead, which is D6. Corvix Warhead. Heavy D6. Heavy D6. Six. He rolls a six, typically. Typical Geek's dice, helping him out. Geek, uh, these, now, these, these things these guys. Yep. It's now minus one, so I'm hitting on You're hitting fours. on fours, because it's minus one, because you've moved. Uh, yeah, uh, three hits. Uh, strength six against your toughness five. Yeah. So threes. Threes to wound oh, me. Only one, one wound. Um, now I get a three up in one save, so it's modifier doesn't really matter at this point. No. <laughs> and he rolls a one. Next to shoot from the Black Star is the um, Hurricane Bolters. So this is rapid fire six. So that's 12 dice. 12 dice. Hitting me um, on fours. Threes. Is is it moved because then it's minus one modifier, isn't it? Yeah, it's only if you're heavy. Oh, it's, it's only if it's heavy weapon. Oh, yeah, good point. It's not, yeah. is it? So, yeah, hit me on threes. Oh, Tom drops dice. So threes. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, dear. Five misses, four misses. It's five. Five misses out of all that. And they're wounding you on fives. So this doesn't get special ammunition. He still gets three, three wounds. So, again... It's a three up armor, three up invun. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. So let's roll these. Oh, There's two wounds there. Wow, my Thunderwolf Cavalry are taking absolute rinsing. Last weapon for this Black Star is the Assault Cannon. That's going straight into yeah, the Thunderwolf so Cav as well. Assault Cannon's at the front, 12 shots. 12 shots, man. Hitting on threes, Hitting on threes. here we go. They've, oh, okay. oh, they've all hit. There's a lot of sixes in there. There's a lot of that Geeks logo going on on them mm. dice. And wounded on threes with a minus one rend, but you don't care. Oh, oh, wounded not. on three. So there's three, four that have not Which wounded. Eight saves, please, and three up. So who are you allocating them to? Um, it's going to be. The, I'm going to do. I'm still going to do closest, then him, and then him. I think. So we've got eight wounds. First one, he's fine. Second ones, it. he's fine. Next one, oh, he's fine. Do this to me. Two, four, six. I've rolled. I've got two left. Yeah. yeah. Double oh, wow. six, double six. Geek dice, they're amazing. Uh, no wounds taken. The second of the Black Star Flyers is going to shoot into Herald Deathwolf because I get to use his leadership from a Thunderwolf Cavalry because I'm within a certain inch range of him. So Tom wants him dead now as well. So here we go. So all of those shots. So the heavy missiles. Heavy D6, first how many shots? Six. Typically it's a six. Great. Can, you not, can you not use the Geek dice for so all of that, please? Force, I did move. One hit. Two hits, actually. Two Sorry, hits. two hits. And threes to wound. Two, two wounds. wounds. So the AP of this weapon is minus one. So Herald Deathwolf has a three up in front and a three up armor save. But he has something called the Mantle of the Wolf King, which pluses one to my save rolls against shooting attacks. So that means he gets a two up arm save and a two up in front save, as far as we're reading it, against shooting attacks. So... AP minus one takes me to four, plus the one takes me back to three. So I'm guessing he's a three up save. And then you go and roll snake eyes. Hurricane Bolter's now 12 dice, hitting me on threes. Score, oh, cool. no, well, not he, says not, he says not good, but that's about a 50-50. Yeah, but I mean, so, if you'd rolled them, you'd all have got threes, as it seemed from the Thunderwolf. Well, yeah, true. If I'd, oh, yeah, okay. And fives to wound. Fives to wound me. One, two more wounds, oh. two more wounds, two more three ups. Two. No, down to two, so yeah. it's actually two ups now because there's no double AP one, on this. Double no double ones. He's fine. So, Soul Cannon's shooting now. Here we go. Lots and lots of dice. Ouch. Oh, 
three misses out of all of that. That's quite a good roll. Three, three, threes to wounds. Ooh, oh, Tom. Lord. Just two. Just two wounds out of all of those dice. Minus one rend. So he's back to a three up save. Yeah, he's fine. He laughs it off. He's got five wounds left. This guy has seven wounds now. Hell, Death Wolf. He's a bit of a beast. So the kill team down here have advanced. The frag cannons are now going to shoot. Uh, how many dice have you got, Tom? Uh, four, so two shots from the two frag cannons. Two shots. Range. So this is going against my dreadnought. So it's going through cover. Yes, which is, we said, plus one. Plus one. It's minus two rends. So you're three up, we go to a five, back down to a four. Yep, so if you, if you catch that. So it's minus one to hit, so that's hitting on fours. Yeah. Then it's an AP two. Um, so his save is three. So that would go up to five, but they're shooting through the ruins, so that's plus one, so it's back to a four. Whew. Force to hit. Force to hit me. Two, Two hits. hits. Toughness, uh, strength seven versus toughness seven. Fours. Fours to wound. One wound. One wound. One I need four one four up dice. Here we go. Yeah, it's all good. If you'd have failed that, as it's two damage, you would have lost two wounds. I would have lost two wounds because it's two damage on the frag cannons, but I saved it. It's all, all right. good. My Dreadnought is being shot at again. This time it's by the Death Watch Dreadnought all the way down here. Salt Cannon, six shots. Threes. Threes to hit. Oh, Tom, only three hits. That's definitely 50-50. Yeah, and Strength six against something seven, fives. Fives to wound me. Not no, sausage. no wounds. So we're now finishing off in the morale phase. I've lost three of my Thunderwolf Cavalry. So that's minus three because of those models. Um, but I'm in range of Herald Deathwolf and I use his... Leadership within six inches. So their leadership nine minus three takes it to a six. So I can't actually, on a D6, lose any guys. None of these guys can fall back. One model would have fallen back, or maybe more, if it had been uh, a bit higher. So Tom really wants to kill off a couple more, or even one more of these Thunderwolf Cav, and then they'd have been going. Some of these would have been running, but he hasn't. So because of that, they're perfectly fine. At the end of the first turn, it's been... Brief, it's been violent. Uh, Thunderwolf Cav have been taken down a peg or two. Herald Deathwolf, five wounds left. No real damage done to the Death Watch. My space wars are all about assault though, so I need to get up and get into assault. I'm gonna have to weather the shooting, so there should be assault this turn. It's time to get aggressive with the Space Wolves. The Land Raider has moved up its full 10 inches, so no disembarking Wolfen this turn. Two squads in there as well. Nasty. Uh, Dreadnought's moved up six. He's going to be opening up with the assault cannons down at the kill team down here by the landing platform. Uh, right in the back quarters and in the Space Wolves deployment zone, shoot uh, flyers are easier to shoot now. So the Grey Hunters are out of their rhino. They're going to be shooting up into the first of the Black Stars. The second Grey Hunter squad are out. They're going to be shooting up at the second one. Uh, most of, pretty much everybody's in rapid fire range. So there's going to be 12 dice, 12 shots. Hitting on fours, wounding on fives. Can we kill these flyers off? I'm sure they've probably got like 50 wounds or something stupid, but we'll give it a go. And then finally, Thunderwolf and Hell Death Wolf have moved up the right-hand flank of the battlefield, looking at going into the first of the kill teams, then the bikes, then the second of the kill teams. They're going to steamroller. We can consolidate into combat. Off camera, I've opened up at the two flyers with both of the rhinos, no damage done. Next to shoot will be the Dreadnought with his assault cannon, six dice, opening up at the kill team just behind them. They're going to get plus one to their save. Um, so anyway, let's shoot. Let's do some shooting. Six dice. I'm going to need threes. So now I need threes to wound. All wounds. Three wounds, Tom. So... First at a time, we'll start one. with Paul again. Paul at legend, the so. back with the shotgun. So three up would go to a four up. So yeah. Ren, but I am obscured by cover. So, so bats, one. back to a three up. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Paul's dead. Well done, Paul. Oh, that's not Paul. Oh, Paul. no, is that not Paul? Yeah, that's Paul. He's always being Paul. Okay. He's dead. So and that... the next one will take Michelle. Michelle. Oh, he loves it. Michelle for the win. No, he's dead. He's dead as well. That was a, oh, that was okay. a fail. So there's two dead guys there from that's the shooting. Paul, but... Uh, last cannons, heavy bolters. We've got split fire now, so we could fire at the dreadnought. We could fire the last cannon at these guys as well, and the heavy bolters at these guys as well. Doing as much damage down here, so when they have to do the morale check, hopefully they will fail it and bugger off the board. First last cannon sponson 
is going to open up at the Death Watch Dreadnought. I need threes to hit. One hit, one miss. Now I need threes to wound. That's a two. It doesn't wound him. That Dreadnought is fine. Now, in seventh, I would only be able to fire this last cannon at kind of what it can see around here. But I can fire that Dreadnought with that last cannon. So let's do that as well. So threes, both hit. Threes to wound. One wound only. So Tom, you get a six up, six six up no save. No, I'd say no real cover tra trap. So six up save. No. It's a five. It goes through. It goes through. Yep. So the last cannon will now do D6 damage. I really want to see that Geek's logo. Oh, it's only a two. So he takes two wounds. Heavy bolters next to shoot. These, This is going to open up at the uh, Death Watch squad down here. So I'm hitting on threes. Here we go. Hitting on threes. Oh, what is going on today? Now I'm going to need threes to wound. It's only one wound, but he is going to get... Minus one, Minus one rend through, through the building, so back to a three. Back to a three up. Uh, Michelle, he's fine. Oh, no, Michelle God. died. Oh, what's this one, Robin? Or yeah, we'll call, call him Robin. So this one's now Robin. So yeah. I have to try and kill him. Um, that is pretty much all of the shoot. Oh no, wait! I was gonna say it's all the shooting done. No, it's not. We have got two grey hunter squads shooting at the flyers. Eighteen shots from the bolters. Now normally this would be a four to hit, but because he's got the what's it called? Infernum Halo Launcher. Infernum Halo Launchers. It's minus one to hit if you're not a flyer, which I am obviously not. So I need fives to hit and then I need fives to win. But 18 dice. Fives to hit. There's a couple. So I got five hits out of all of that and I need fives again. One wound. So Tom, you get your save. Three up. Three up save. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. It's a six. It's all good. Now I've got my plasma to shoot. Do I overcharge it and run the risk of killing myself. Do it, do it, do yeah, it. Yeah, okay, let's do it. So I'm gonna roll for the plasma gun now. I'm gonna overcharge this. Fives to hit. I don't wanna see a one, otherwise it's a mortal wound. There's a one. However, house rules. Yeah, that's definitely a cock dice. <laughs> so, it's a six. He's hit. Excellent. So because I've overcharged this plasma gun, it is now strength eight. Um, AP minus three, so I'm wounding on threes, which I do. So it is two wounds, and Tom now gets a six up save, which he doesn't make, so he takes two wounds. This thing's got 14 wounds. Time for the second of the Grey Hunter squad to open up at the flyer. Only 16 dice, two guys are not in rapid fire range, so uh, fives to hit. There's one, two, three, four hits. Now I need fives to wounds with the bolters. There's, I will re-roll that because that one is slightly cocked. There's two wounds, Tom, two three-ups. Please fail them. Yeah, he, pass, he passes. Plasma. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's overcharge. This, is, this is fun. Oh, one hit. one hit, one miss. So I'm now wounding on a three. It's a six. It's a wound on the other one. Six up. Six up save. No. Only a two. That's down to tw only 12 wounds. Only well. 12 rooms remaining on that flyer. Only. As we head into the assault phase, the Thunderwolf Cavalry are going to go in to the kill team down here. So, Overwatch, frag cannons, 2d6, auto hits. Oh, that's 10. That's 10. That's Eight. 10 auto hits. Wow. So, wounding on threes. Wounding me on threes. Mm. Not great. No, it's not brilliant, Tom. No, that's four ones. So that's only six saves, please, of three up. I'm going to allocate these to the Thunder Hammer at the back, just so I don't pull my charge range back a little bit. So, three dice, three ups. Oh, he takes a wound. And so he's got two left. Next three. He's dead. Oh, wow, he's taken two more wounds. So he... Is dead. Next to shoot is the assault cannon on in. Sixes. Here we go on sixes. There's one. one. That's perfectly fine. Threes. It wounds. It wounds. So I'm going to have to make my three up in one. Who's taking this one? Uh, it's going to be have to be one of the powerfist guys at the closest. So, yeah, he's fine. Thunderwolf Cavalry made it in. Herald Deathwolf didn't. I rolled a four, so it'd have been two inches away. That's brilliant. And uh, they're not within six inches now. And if he Herald Deathwolf would have been there, I'd have got re rolls of ones. But I haven't. So anyway, so I'm hitting with two power fists. So this is minus one 
to the hit. So I'm now hitting these guys on fours. Two hits. I'm now wounding these guys on twos. There is two wounds. So Tom will now get a six up save, so I think. Take it on his storm shield. Take it, oh, take it on the storm shield. Three plus. Three plus. He's most definitely dead. Right, and then I'm going to take it on just a generic bolter dude. Six up. So, oh, he loves it. He's fine. He's all good. So storm shield did Storm <laughs> shield's gone. <laughs> the one you want to tank it. Next to attack is my Thunderwolf Cavalry. I've never done this before. This is pretty cool. They get three attacks each, so I get six. Imagine if that whole squad was alive. Yeah, that's why I shot the Wow. Um, so I'm hitting on threes. Ha! <laughs> Only three. Only three hits. But I'm wounding on threes. Yeah, and it's AP minus one damage one. Wound on threes. There's three wounds. So Tom has now got... Gotta continue. Four up save. He's dead. Next guy. This dude. He's so saved. Final on him again. Dead. He's dead as well. Tom is now going to hit back with the power fist from the Terminator. So two attacks hitting me on fours. Yeah. Two, two hits. hits. Wounding you on threes. You're wounding so on the threes. The yeah. This. There's one a two. Wound. Only one wound. So I get a three up. Yeah. Invun save. Ooh. All good. That Next to swing will be the two chainsaws, three attacks each, six of them hitting me on threes. Two misses, four hits, but I'm toughness five. Five's to wound. Five's to wound. That's two. Two, three up saves to make. Here we go. That's it. It's all fine. Into the morale phase, because there's a Terminator with that Death Watch team, they just automatically pass morale. Unflinching special roots, not bad. Unflinching, yeah, very good. And these guys, I didn't kill off enough to uh, make them fail. So, next turn, these guys are dead. As we head into the turn two movement, the first of the Death Watch team that were hunkered down behind the building, taking shots from the uh, Dreadnought and the Land Raider, have moved around. They're looking at shooting the Land Raider. The Dreadnought has also moved up little bit miffed it took two wounds so he's going to go into combat with his power fist into the land raider as well uh, bikes and the other bikes have moved around looking at the two remaining thunderwolf cavalry the terminator and the death watch guys have uh, basically fallen back out of combat so lots and lots of shots going in uh, the two flyers have entered hover mode and are looking at cuddling and hugging Herald Deathwolf with the volley of shots that they're going to be putting in onto my Warlord. Before they moved, however, they dropped off their cargoes. Both of these squads are now out. This one has the Librarian in. Uh, Terminator's in here as well, so they can do that teleport um, shenanigans. But they're looking at killing off the Grey Hunters squad. So there's going to be shooting. There's going to be assault down there because they're assault weapons. And I don't, are these all assault weapons as well, Tom, in here? Uh, yeah. Frag cannons and storm bolters. Frag cannons and storm bolters, all assault weapons. Oh dear, it's going to get tasty and it's going to get nasty. The librarian in the squad down here is uh, casting Might of Heroes. It's a points value of six, so 2d6 down here. Basically, it will, it will add one to all the attack characteristics of anybody within 12 inches. <sighs> Joyce, but Tom's going to roll first. So what I'm looking for now is a double one or a double six, Tom, please. I fail. He fails it. It's a, so four, a one and a that three. Again. That cannot be cast this turn. Uh, now I'm going to try smite. Oh, he's going for smite. Uh, you know what? I might as well go for the big version. Actually, let's go for the small version. D3 mortal wounds. A so casting value of five. Casting value. Unit. Okay. Casting value of five for smite. Oh, that's yes. gone off. So, on those great hunters, D3 more wounds. D3. One, one's dead. One is dead, which is the plasma guy at the... Well, no, Eight. I can allocate, can't I? Now it's no longer the closest. Oh, but I will probably guy. take... No, I'm not oh, going to take the plasma guy. Yeah. I will take one of the other normal guys, I think. The stalker guys have pressed the trigger and shot down into the Thunderwolf cavalry. They've done five wounds. Three ups. Oh, he's taken a wound. And now the remaining two. Is that, is that, is that cocked? The house roll, is that one cocked? No, it's fine. Damn it, he's taking two wounds. He's got one, one left. Bikes that have come screaming around the battlefield have also shot into the Thunderwolf Cavalry. Again, doing me five wounds. So the one guy is on 
Is he on one wound there, Tom? Yeah, one wound there. So first three dice. He's dead. So we're down to one now. The wound has uh, spilled over because of the amount of shots coming in. So I've lost one Thunderwolf Cav. The other one's got two left. I have two dice. He's fine. Second biker squad shooting into the Thunderwolf Cavalry. One guy left, two wounds. Five dice. Three ups. Oh no, he's most definitely, definitely Only dead. Just. Only yeah. just. Two wounds out of other five. So he's dead. Um, I was just saying to Tom off camera, do my Thunderwolf Cavalry feel as tough as they used to? Um, in this game, I'm going to say no, but these Hellfire rounds, oh, wounded on two twos, plus. poison two plus. Imagine these against monstrous creatures. Wow. Both of the Black Star Flyers have shot into Herald Deathwolf. We've shot the uh, Salt Cannons and we've shot the Missiles. It's minus one rend. That is my wound pull. He's only got five wounds left. It's a minus AP one, but because of his special rule, I am plus one, so I am back to threes. I'll pick up all these dice. So, I don't want to see any twos and ones, please. Oh, and then I roll loads. So, he is dead. Because there is five wombs there. Six wombs there. Yeah. Six wombs. How Death Wolf has been pulled down. The Dreadnought fired at the Land Raider with his Assault Cannon and the Flamers. Uh, two wombs done, but I saved them both. Now it is the turn of the shotguns right at the very front. So, how many dice have you got, Tom? I've got four, because they're assault two each. Assault two, four dice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. I'm using the crit clear around, which is a strength four, but I get to re-roll to wound. So mm. I'm wounded on sixes. So threes you to hit. Threes to hit. All hit. Wounded on sixes. There's one. one. No, but then it's got a re-roll, because the special ammo jubbins. Yeah, just a... Just the one. One save, a three up save. One three up save. Oh, that's gone underneath. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a oh, it's two. Only down to 15 wounds. 15 wounds left. What a shame. Don't know. I'm going to cope now. Next to shoot are the frag cannons of this squad. They're using the impact rounds. Yep. So they're within half yep. range. So they become strength nine. So we're wounded on threes, but they've got to hit first on threes as well. So here we go. Hits on threes. Oh, two, two misses. misses. And then wounded on threes. Wounded. Oh, man. Uh, three wounds. Three, wound, three whole wounds. You get six up saves against these. So these are AP minus three. Yeah, so so six, six up save. I need to see that geek logo. I see one of them. So, so you take the two damage each, you take four damage. Two damage each, four damage. Wow, so I'm down to nine. And I can't count because I'm actually down to 11 wounds. The kill team that came out of the first Black Star have got three frag cannons in there. Tom rolled a 10, a 10, and a nine. So... 29 dice. Wounded on three. Wounded on threes. Here we go. This is a lot of dice. <laughs> wow, it's like playing orcs. So there's only five non wombs. Yes. So I have got 24 wombs yes. with a minus one AP. Yes. So this is 24 three ups that I need to make. Four ups. Of course, I meant four ups after the AP. This is how many dice I've got in my hand. I need four ups. Here we go. Uh, mm, yeah, okay. Let's go with this out. Out of those 24, I failed 10. And there was 10 guys, so they all died. Now with split fire, Tom's going to shoot the rhino with the remaining shots. Now, personally, I think he should have declared this at the same time as shooting. But I'll let him off because I'm a nice kind of guy. Five shotguns going into the side of the rhino. But there's they're double range. Well, they're double dice, basically, because they're in range. Um, threes to hit, all but three have hit them, so that's seven, seven hits. Uh, now Minus one to your rend. Minus one rend to the armour, so what do you need to wound me? Uh, fives, because you're not double minus. You're only fives to wound me, only toughness seven. So four four wounds, wow. Minus one damage, is it? sorry, minus one rend, two damage each. And they're three, it's a three up save. It goes up to a four up. So four ups, I'm going to roll them on the landing platform, four, four ups. Up. Two. Oh, I've that's taken two four. wounds. No, two four damage. wounds because they're two damage each. So that's four wounds done to my rhino. Rhinos now have ten wounds, so six wounds left. Rhinos are beasts. Second of the kill teams that came out of the flyers shot into the Grey Hunters only killed one. Frag cannons and storm bolters. No real damage done. Just lost the one guy. So there's going to be assault. There's going to be quite a lot of assault going on now. Um, split fire means they can probably go into the rhino. Uh, these guys will be going into the Grey Hunters down there. The Dreadnought will definitely be going into the Land Raider. 
Now, I think we're right on this. This Dreadnought is going into my Land Raider, so I've overwatched with my Laz Cannons. Sixes to hit him, and I've just rolled two sixes. That's not... It's big. Yeah, it I is quite like big. It. I don't like it. And Tom doesn't like it, and he's having a little cry right now, but I quite like this. If we're right, we think we got this right. It doesn't say anywhere that you can't overwatch your vehicles. So, here we go. I now need threes to wound this Dreadnought. Oh, one wound, only one wound. Damn this it! I could, damage. I could have destroyed. Well, I still can destroy this. So oh, D, no, yeah, save. Sorry, yeah, six save. save. <gasps> Geeks me. No. He's rolled a one, so it's D. Sorry, sorry. I think... Yeah, it wasn't. The, it wasn't the Geeks logo. It was a yeah. one. So D six damage. Oh, it's five. He's gonna have one, one wound left. Ouch. If I'd have rolled a six or hit with that second last kind of shot, the guy would have gone down, but I didn't. However, I've still got my heavy bolters. So six shots, needing sixes. No sixes. Dreadnought has made it in. The uh, kill team has also made it into that Dreadnought down here. The kill team and the librarian have all made it into the Rhino. Um, down here, the other kill team has made it into the other Grey Hunter squad. So, no real damage done apart from to the Dreadnought during the Overwatch. By the way, Watchmaster Dave is going to rip that Rhino a new one. If you heard that, he just said, Watchmaster Dave is going to rip it a new one. We will see. So... So, you've made your charge move. Oh, we have all made our charge moves. Now, you have charged everything in this turn, so there's no alternating between choosing for combat. So, you will be hitting first in all three attacks. Now, if I survive, my Land Raider will be hitting back, because tanks can assault. Dreadnought first to hit, hitting on threes, four attacks. Come on, for Watchmaster Dave. Oh, dear. Two hits, two misses. So, the Dreadnought is now strength 12, because of his uh, two times power fist. Uh, so, he's wounding me on... Threes. Yeah, so it's up to eight. Oh, it's a Snake Eyes. There's no damage done to that Land Raider. Just new model, that is. It's, it's a new, new model, model syndrome. It's, it's new it's model first syndrome. Time, first time I've used it. There you go. Next to hit, it is the kill team. So there's chainsaws and a uh, lightning claw in here. Basically, lots and lots and lots of dice. I've, you're hitting me on threes. So I've done the chainsaws first. Chainsaws first, because, yeah, different rending. So, chainsaws. Threes to hit. That's some Bad, bad rolling, Tom. Sixes to wound, come on. Sixes to wound, three. I would love that. Three, three wounds with chainswords, wow. Three Why can the dreadnought do that? So three, three ups to be made. Let me use yeah. these dice. Three, three, three ups. Take wounds to a chainsword. Yes, you took one wound. I've taken one wound. Now it's the turn of the lightning claw. Threes to hit. Threes to hit, all hit me. Sixes again? Yeah, sixes Six again. Reroll to wound the old, oh. the old, the old shred. shred. None so far. So no wounds, but he gets a re-roll on these. Come on. That's one, one more. minus two. So this is a five wow. up. Wow, so it's a minus two with a lightning claw. Wow. So five up. Yeah, you know it. It's a Geeks logo. Available right. through our web store. And now it's the Land Raider's turn to hit back. Six attacks, but I am hitting on sixes. I've got six dice. I'm going to chuck them all on the Dreadnought. I need to see some sixes. There's one. There is one six. Land Raider is strength eight against toughness seven. So I'm wounding on threes. It's a six. Now there's no AP on this, so he gets his normal three up. Yeah, it's, about to, it's about to die. To three up Raider. armor save. Now if the Land Raider kills a Dreadnought, there's a distinct possibility. I'm going to laugh myself stupid here. Oh, it's a six. The Dreadnought survives. The kill team that went into the Rhino only managed to do two wounds. Really shows you nowadays that if you're not anti-tank, you struggle to do damage. This Rhino in 7th edition would have just gone and been popped and destroyed. But it only took two wounds. It's still got four left. I'm just going to drive off next turn and probably turn around and shoot them. Uh, so, yeah, a lot tougher. The second Grey Hunter squad was just massacred in combat. I lost eight that turn. Um, and I have a leadership seven. seven. Um, so, yeah, they, they failed their morale and uh, disappeared off the board. Off they go. Uh, Rhino's perfectly fine. Land Raider's okay. So... Bit of a nasty turn. I've got my two squads of Wolfen in my Land Raider. Still waiting to come out of turn three. The odds are stacked against us. It's been a punishing couple of turns for the Space Wolves. We've had to weather the storm. Wolfen are now out to join the fight. They are going to go into the kill team, hopefully destroying them. Land Raider is staying in combat. The... Second Wolf and Squander out of the Land Raider. They are going to go into the bikes. Land Raider hopefully destroying that Dreadnought in combat, which would be just really funny. Um, Dreadnought will be putting its shots into the uh, kill team down here as well. Rhino has backed out 
of the combat, can't shoot as far as we know. And that Land Raider has made a bit of a dart away from the other kill team that are basically heading towards it now. Um, well, let's try and do as much damage as we can this turn. Everything has made it into combat, no damage done. No shooting though because of falling back and uh, being locked in combat. So Tom has um, issued a, uh, well he's going to use some of his strategic points, he's going to use two of them which is, if it's alive. Which is Master of uh, Defence I think it was called? Yeah. Something like that. Counter offensive. Counter offensive. So basically the Dreadnought, after I've hit with everything that's charged in, which is the Wolf from there and the Wolf from there, he's going to hit first with his Dreadnought into my Land Raider. Um, and try and pop it, but he's only got one wound left, and this thing's got six attacks. So it might die. It might die. It probably won't die. Um, so yeah, let's go roll some dice. The Wolfen are going to hit into the Death Watch kill team down here. Now I'm hitting with the Frost Claws first. So I'm hitting on threes, wounding on threes because they're plus one to my strength. They are AP minus two, so they're going to be a five up save, and I also get to reroll any failed wounds. So here we go, three, cheese. Oh, I'm still coughing cheese. So threes to hit. I've just dropped a dice, but it's a hit. Uh, <laughs> that counts, it all counts, my house. Um, so they've only two misses. And now I need threes to wound with a reroll. That's cocked. So I need three rerolls. So all but two have wounded. So then Tom, you've got quite a lot. I think that's seven there. Five up saves to make, and I haven't even hit with the Thunder Hammers yet. Oh, joy. So, on Robin, he's dead. Robin's dead. Sorry, Robin. Uh, Next guy. Paula. He's... That's Paul's wife. <laughs> Paul's wife. Yeah, he's dead. We're in, so there's... we're in the 41st millennium. They can be... Two are dead. Right. And then on the Frag Gannon dude, he's dead. Dead. Next Frag Cannon, dead. And on the Vanguard. Dead. There you go. They're all dead, Dave. Yeah, Dave, they're, they're dead, all dead. 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 After the first Wolfen squad butchered the kill team, we're now over to the second squad on the bikes. Frostclaws, again, threes to hit. Oh, that's not brilliant. There's, there's quite a few misses in there. Um, and then threes to wound, because he's only toughness five. Threes to wound with a reroll. So you have got six five up saves to make on the bike. I have two wounds each. So two wounds time. each. One, one dead. dead. One is down to one wound. You learn the wound pile. That's dead. And that's the second one dead. And what, so one's left. One on alive. Wound. Sorry, one's left on two wounds. One's left two wounds, well, and the other two are death dead. Watch, you know, he's, oh, he's having a little bit of fun time. With you keep friends. you're keeping the space wolf guy alive. You know, with his friends. However, we've still got to hit with the thunder hammers. So here we go. Threes. <laughs> you ever seen that meme where he's like? And he's dead. twos. He's, yeah, he's dead, isn't it's, he? It, it, oh, is it twos or threes? Uh, Times two strength, strength isn't five, it? Yeah, yeah two. Yeah. Oh, one wow. Wound. Only one wound. That wow, that's a terrible that roll. Terrible roll. Thunderhammer is minus eight. Well, it's minus three to the AP. And then, so it needs a six or he's dead because it's three damage. He needs six. It's oh, underneath. It's a, it's a five. The wolf, the space wolf death watch traitor has died. The Wolfen that have just murdered the bikes have now consolidated into the next kill team who will probably back away and then uh, let everything else shoot them. The other Wolfen squad have gone into the Dreadnought to save getting shot at. But we've got a Land Raider versus Dreadnought fight going on down here. So Dreadnought's hit first because of uh, Tom using his strategic points. So hitting on three, hitting on please. Threes. Mm, three hits. That's not bad, Tom. Wounding on Threes. Two oh. wombs. I've got two wombs to save. These are six ups. I need to see the Geeks logo. No, they are both gone through and they are. Three damage each. Three damage each. So that's six wombs done. I am down to four on my Land Raider. But my Land Raider gets to hit back. So now I'm down at four wombs. I only get one attack. Wow. Hitting on a six. Damn it. No real big surprise that in the movement phase of the Death Watch, the kill team have moved back. And literally, everything is facing down at the Wolfen, ready to uh, kill them and destroy them. 
So that's probably going to happen. Uh, down here, the kill team have moved up to around the back of the Rhino to um, destroy that. Chance of Smite going off from the Librarian into that Rhino as well. So that's uh, probably going to die. And then the second and final Rhino is now facing off against a massive kill team squad. Uh, probably also going to die. In the psychic phase, the Librarian managed to cast Smite, taking off three hull points to my Rhino. Mortal Wounds as well, so no saves. He's also cast Might of Heroes, um, so these are now plus one to their attack characteristics. The Wolfen have been shot at by the bikes. I have 11 wounds. Now, I've decided to take these on the normal guy. Um, so it's a four up save. So there's one wound, one saved. I'm just going to separate these out for the moment. There's one wound, one saved. Uh, one wound, two, two saves. Next, two save, one wound. And one wound. Oh, two more. So I've got five wounds. Now, Wolfen have basically what used to be the fill no pain. So for every roll of a five up, I ignore the wound. So that one goes through. That one is ignored. That one oh, is ignored. Geese, that oh, so one is dead. So I only I only take two wounds out of that whole thing. So I've lost one Wolfen. Stalker bolt guns next to shoot. They are all the way down there on the Fortress of Redemption. Can you guess what type of ammo they're going to use? They're going to use the uh, poison two up, aren't yeah, they? Ammo. There's a shocker because it's still threes to hit. Two miss. Two miss. Uh, coming into it. Two ups. Ooh, two non-wounds. Six saves of whatever you would like to allocate on. I'm going to... There's no AP modifier on this, AP is there? So dash. I will take these on my normal four-up, guys. Uh, one wound, one saved. Uh, two saves. And two saves. So I've taken one wound. So I now need a five-up. Yeah, he's oh. all fine. Thomas just fired the missiles from one of the... Um, fl oh. oh, sorry. Both of the flyers. So he makes do two wounds on my Wolfen. So I'm going to take these on my Storm Shield because otherwise it's minus one, minus one so it become a five up save. So I'm going to take them on my three up Storm Shield. Oh, so I take one wound. I take one wound. One Assault Cannon from the Flyer is now shooting at the Wolfen. Oh, oh wow. Geez. Wow, that's quite a lot of misses there. But it's still, yeah, still a fair few hits, Tom. I will give you that one. And uh, wounded on threes, minus one rend. Minus one, rend Jeez, three. Please. So four wounds. Again, mm -hmm. they have got to go against the Storm Shield guy. So one at a time. Saved. Saved. Oh. Wounded. Saved. So I need a five up on this one. Yeah, it's all good. How do you feel, Tom? How do you feel about the wolf? And... Uh, you complain about my poison two plus ammo. What's this? Oh, I can use three of Imbo and then oh, I'll take a wound here's a five up. Yeah, it's, it, the wolf and a still filth. So the next assault cannon, Tom has just rolled to hit. He's only got five hits. Four He's got. I've got four wounds to take again against the storm shield guy. So I'm going to roll this one at a time because he's only got one wound left. So first one, passed. passed. Second one, passed. Third one, wounded. That one saved. That. So last wound, wounded. Next one takes a wound. So that guy is now dead. Hurricane bolters now from the flyer. Twelve shots coming in. Four. Threes. Oh, well, I wouldn't say that's that bad. You're moaning yeah. like you've missed loads, and yeah, technically you have haven't. Yeah, I'd rather have that than the assault cannon. Well, yeah, true. I'll give you that. Force to wound. Force to wound me. Uh, Through four wounds. So who's this going on to? So this is going to go on the. Uh, is there any AP modifier on the assault? No, no AP modifier. I'll take it on one of my normal guys out of four yeah. up save. Four ups saved. Next takes a wound. Is it ignored on a five? Yes, it is. Next one. Saved. I've got one left to take. Saved. Oh, They're it. fine. Second hurricane bolt is going in. Only missed a couple of times. I'd definitely say that one's cocked on. I think that's pretty much all hit. Wow, look at oh, all these. Two, four, six, eight wounds I've got to take. Again, I'm going to do these two at a time. I'm going to do them on the four ups. Uh, oh, there's two wounds. So I need fives now to ignore them. No, one wound. No, that's one it. is dead. Yeah. Next one. This is where my dice are going to let me down. Uh, oh, no, maybe not. Uh, next one. Both failed. Two wounds. Do they get ignored? No, that one doesn't. Yes, that one does. One wow. is down to one wound. I've got two dice left. 
Uh, they have both been wounded. Five ops. So no. And then no. Your next one takes so wound. down one wound. One Wolfen guy remaining now, and he's only got one wound, which is my pack leader. But Tom has pumped pretty much this entire side of the battlefield into that one squad of Wolfen, and one of them is still alive. First of the rhinos has gone. It is out of hull points. They have all been removed by the frag cannons. Uh, and the second one is on one hull point left. Man, tanks are tough. Um, basically, everything shot at it. Uh, took off six hull points. So one left. It's probably going to get assaulted now. I think that wolfen is going to get assaulted by the bikes as well. So this is going to be a fun fight. The Rhino was gone, it's out of hall points, it got smashed up really easily in combat. Um, we are now heading over to the Wolfen versus Bike Fight. Seven attacks from the bikes. Hitting you on threes. Hitting on threes. Oh, oh wow, that's uh, rubbish. Three hits. That's really bad. Three hits, Tom. Uh, user, power sword, so force to wound. Yep. One. One whole wound. He's got one wound left. Three up in Von save. Yeah, he's fine. Loves it. And Loving life. They also still get death frenzy. Yeah. So if you'd have killed him, I'd have still swung and hit you mm. after. Yeah, it's completely fair though, isn't it? Oh yeah, very fair. So it's my turn to hit you back now. Yes. Four attacks, hitting nice. on threes. Two hits. Wounding on twos. Wounding on twos. Two wounds. At minus threes. So minus yeah. three, you get sixes. After, after one at, a time. One at a time. Sixes. Oh, saved. Saved it. Now one one's dead. One is most definitely dead. So I actually... You've actually lost combat by I... one model. Your leadership eight, you lost one model. So we, uh, yeah, we're fine. It's all good. It's and all good in the hood. And then we're moving turn. on down here. Uh, I'm going to have the Dreadnought. Unsurprisingly, attack your Land Raider. You're going to attack the Land Raider. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Four so whole points left. There. Yeah, yeah. Land Raider dead. I'm not going to hurt any wolf, now. we? You're gonna no, you're, you're not going to run. Well, you Jeez. might hurt. You might. Three hits. Three whole hits Wounded on the Land threes. Raider from the Dreadnought. Two wounds. Two wounds. So six I've got up. two six up saves. First okay. one is done. Second one is oh, saved. So one wound. This Land Raider it's probably your man of the map. is on one wound. Wow. So I'm going to hit back with the Land Raider first. One dice for the Land Raider, hitting on a six. No. Now it's turn of the Wolfen down here. Frost Claws first. Threes to hit. These might be hurting on sixes, but oh, only, only, only two misses. Only two misses. Now I'm wounding on fives. Yeah. Minus two to his save. He has only got one wound left. Let's have a look. We have got three, three wounds. Is that it? That's enough. That, you five, up. five ups. Five. Oh, that's the first one. Well, watch this. He's Tom's going to get a name. Tom's going to get cocky now. No, he's dead. No, he's dead. So much for your cocky, Tom. So at the end of turn three, it's been another bloody round. It's gone into combat. It's all good. It's over to the Space Wolves. What can we do to try and pull this game back? The Dreadnought has now witnessed the threat in the back lines. There's an objective down here. I'm going to go pepper these boys with the assault cannon shots. Land Raider has now moved three inches because that's all it can do. Now it's got one hull point left. And it, one hull point, one wound left. And it's now sitting on the objective. Wolfen have moved up through the door six inches. They can run, they can assault because, well, why not? And obviously that guy's still in combat down there. So at the end of this turn, I want the bikes dead. I want that um, unit dead of that kill team. And then I want as many men as possible dead from this squad down here. Salt Cannon from the Dreadnought is going to shoot into the kill team then. Six dice, hitting on threes. All but two, wounding on threes. Brilliant. One wound. Uh, so one, one rend. Yeah, one rend. I'm going to put it on... Uh, let's go for... Go at the front, the guy Holy. at the very front. Two, he's dead. Land Raider is now going to fire all four of its last kind of shots at the um, squad that's on the back of the battlefield on that objective. Now I'm minus two to my hits mm -hmm. because I've taken so much damage. So I'm hitting these guys on a five. I get two hits. I'm wounding on twos. 
two wombs. It's minus three. Three, so it's going to be a six up save. Plus one for cover. Plus one. So five, five up. up. First one. No. Dead and five up. No. no. Dead. Two dead from that squad. Quite happy about yeah. that. Finally, the heavy bolters shooting in to that squad as well. Six dice here in on fives. One, only one. Winded on threes? Yes. No. The frag cannons from the Wolfens are going to open up at the uh, kill team. So these are D3 hits. Uh, it's a three and a one. So there's four hits going in. So now I need fives to hit. Oh, wow. Three hits. Wow, Spine. I will take that. Fours to wounds. Come on. Ah, and then three threes. Brilliant. Wolfen are going into the kill team own here. Now, Thomas just rolled eight on the frag cannon. Threes. Sixes. It's Overwatch. No, the auto hit. Oh, the auto hit, don't they? Of course they do. Oh, so bloody eight, hell. 2d6, that's six saves. Who would you like to put it on? Six saves. Any AP monitor. Mo uh, I'm going to put on my Storm Shield guy then. All right, so... Two at a time. Okay, here we go. So you got six. Two. Yeah, both oh, fine. It. Yeah, takes all one. takes one. So do I get a five up? No. no. So he takes a wound. Two left. Oh, oh snake so eyes. So roll one of these at so a time. First one. No, so that first dead. one's dead. And then another guy takes another, takes wound. another wound. Soul so cannon now six, going in. Six sixes. Geeks. There's one geek. One geek there. That's... Will you stop rolling them under there? It Sorry. really is not helping filming, Sorry. Tom. We don't Sorry, even know no, what those to wound. That was actually a five. Five, so that's a wound. Yes. So here we it's go. On, it's on your frost claw, dude. Yeah, frost Minus claw. One. So it's a five up save. No. no. His... Five up. <gasps> no, the frost claw guy has gone as well. Oh, so wow, this other watch has been really good for me. I killed more wolfen. Yeah. In other watch, I did like with a thousand units. Yeah. And then finally, the bolter dude. Now finally it's the Bolton no, dude, it's... nothing at all. So now we are gonna go into combat. It's gonna be minus two, but I do get to re-roll these. Yeah, yes, they're you're in. A bit in. They're in. Two frost claw guys hitting first. Eight dice, needing threes. Only three miss. Now I need threes to wound. Yes, with a re-roll. With a re-roll. Oh, Don't need okay. that re-roll. So this is minus two. Two, so these are five up saves. Unless you take them on a terminator. And then it's a four up save. Oh, decisions. Let's get into Tom's head. What are you doing, Tom? I'm going to man up and take these one at a time. One at a time? Oh, go on. On Terminator. Terminator, boy. Oh, he takes it. It's a four up. He's taken a wound. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, no, he's got two wounds each, haven't they? Oh, uh, yes. I think Terminators do have two wounds now. So I've got a two up. Uh, on a two up, I ignore the wounds. No, so you don't. You haven't, got, you haven't got two up, ignore so the wound, Tom. One. He's dead. He, yeah, the Terminator is most definitely dead. So and that's, that's three wounds. That's only three wounds. So you've so got, got two left. On uh, five ups. One dies. one dies, one is alive, but then there is also the thunder hammer now to hit from the squad leader. Threes. Oh, yeah, I think he's mush. And then twos. Oh, he's oh, mush. No, he's only minus three, so I get six ups. You get a six up save, mate. You, you get three six ups. Here we go. First one dead. is dead. <laughs> Very dead. Now it's the turn of the one remaining wolf and the wolf pack leader into those bikes. Four dice hitting on threes. Three oh, gonna be hits, wounding on twos. <gasps> <gasps> one wound, only one wound. Come on then. Kill one? Yeah, I'm going to kill oh, one off. Six up save. No, one's dead. One is most definitely dead. So How? Wow, that was painful. Right, anyway, Sarge's going to hit me back now. Three attacks. Yep, three attacks. Threes and fours. <sighs> oh, two okay. hits. One wound. One wound. One three, three up save. That's He's it. fine. So He's I've all good. Two wounds, leadership nine, down to seven, I can't fail it. You still can't fail it. Marines are tough on this morale. So at the end of the Space Wolf turn four, that's quite a good turn. We are, we are now missing quite a bit from this side of the battlefield to do with the Death Watch. Those Wolfen are going to get the living snot shot out of them. If they survive, they're going in here. They're going to pull the Death Watch off this objective. I have this one. I'm hoping to have that one. There's these guys down here. So Tom has these two objectives. That's that's done now. I'm aiming for these two here to make this a draw. But there is also Slay the Warlord in this. And First Blood. And First Blood. Which I have. Which Tom has. So I think it's going to be a win for the Death Watch. But let's see. Let's see what happens. 
everything is now pushing. It is on the offensive. The two flyers, one of them is after the wolf, and the second one is probably going to shoot the Land Raider. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. If not, am I going to hover mode? Contest uh, that both, objective? Both in hover at the moment. Oh, they're both in hover mode at the moment. Okay. Yeah. So these guys have come forward a little bit. They are going to shoot at the Dreadnought. The bikers pulled out of combat from the Wolfen all the way down here, which now frees my Wolfen up to all the frag shots and bolter shots and shenanigans that's going on from that squad. And then obviously they've got the two up poison from down there. Three Wolfen there, one Wolfen there, one Land Raider, one Dreadnought. Can I win this? So Tom was going to smite my Land Raider with one wound left. He needed a five. He rolled a three. Smite has not gone off. My Land Raider survives oh, mortal oh, wounds. Jesus Look at the Christ. pain. Look at the pain, people. I just can't get a break. Can that was an amazing round of shooting. The Wolfen down here have gone. Split fire from both flyers. Just laying waste to them down here. Land Raider has gone. The um, Hurricane Bolters from down here, or oh, from the flyer, split, uh, stripped to the last hull point off. My other Wolfen guy died. He survived so much shots from this squad, but then was finally pulled down. So all the Space Wolves have left is the one lonely Dreadnought. So that is game. It is a win for the Death Watch. That was really good fun. Let's head over to the post-game review. Hi guys, welcome to the post-game review. We have a kind of happy Tom after that. So, first game of eighth on the channel. That was actually really, really, really good fun. Oh, yeah. A um, lot of rule changes to seventh. There's yeah. a lot to learn. A lot to learn. Yes. Whew, it's going to be fun. Um, units of the game. I'll let you go first, Tom, because you won. It's, it's got to be a toss-up between the Flyers, because they could just put out so much DACA. Yeah. Or, do you know what, I really like the Bikers. Yeah, they did quite well today, actually. Yeah. They didn't do bad at all. And I think I think the Frag Cannon's actually got a bit of a buff. 2d6 hits rather than just a Flamer template. Yeah, your Frag Cannons now are, are quite tough. Now we've lost templates, they, yeah. their, their rules are a lot better. Yeah. Um, for the Space Wolves... I've got two, actually. Wolfen, because, oh boy, are they filth. Oh, you just, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wolfen are still yeah. filth. That is something I'm quite happy to say, um, being a Space Wars player. Um, yeah, they still get Death Frenzy. They kind of still get Feel No Pain with that. Um, it's better than Feel No Pain. It now. is, actually. It works against anything. Yeah, so it's kind of like, I roll a five, I ignore you the wound you've just given me. Especially when you say it's a Laz Cannon, which before you want to got. Yeah, I want to got to do a D6 damage and kill him. You just go, no, it's ignored. I'm ignoring that. And if you'd have killed me in combat, then I'd have just death rendered you. Yeah. So I could have got hit. That's why I didn't kill you in combat with him. Pretty much. Yeah. They can still run. They can still move, run, and assault. Yeah. That's... Happy days. Yeah. Um, my other choice is my Land Raider. Tanks are sure. tough as anything in this. 16 wounds. 16 wounds on the Land Raider. The fact you can split fire. The fact that yeah. you haven't got that rubbish mm. hull I can't shoot all my last cannons. Oh, yeah, because it, it was so silly with the sponsors, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, it was a bit... Yeah. You wanted to move and then shoot, but then you had to machine spirit, you had to angle it. it yeah, which I can kind of see now, because the idea is the driver will go forward, move the tank around so everything gets yeah. shot, and then it will move back to where it was. Mm. So I get that. That's kind of cool. Um, it's damn tough. Oh yeah. I mean, you took it out finally, but it, it took a it took like what, four turns of you pummeling it quite a lot. Dreadnought. Dreadnought in combat. There was red cannons. Yeah. Combat. I managed, and then it eventually it was just a humble bolter that killed it. All right, easy target. Um, rhinos. The rhinos are oh, tough again yeah. today. Eight wounds on them. Yes. So they were hard to kill. Yes. So I think if I took this list again, me and Tommy were having a mm. chat. Wolfen in the rhinos, one in each of them. Yeah. Run them up the battlefield twelve. Next turn. Get out, well, get out six, mm. run, and yeah. then assault. Oh, yeah. So that sounds stealth, so that might have to happen. Um, oh. But that was a really, really, really fun game. And it, I like the fact that even though towards the end, there wasn't much left on the Space Wolves fat, on the front, I was prodding Tom going, I can still win this, because I could have done. If my Dreadnought had taken you off that one objective... Yeah... I'd have killed... My Wolfen would have killed that squad up in the, in the Fortress of Redemption. They'd have gone. Yeah. Um, that one wolf and guy would have gone into your bikes or gone into your other um, kill team and probably yeah. killed them off. My land raider was sitting on that objective. So you'd have had one, I'd have had two objectives, and then it'd come down to Slay the, uh, Slay the Warlord, Linebreaker, and First Blood. 
I'd have got Line Breaker, you'd have got mm. Line Breaker, you'd have got First Blood and um, Slay the Warlord. I think, yeah. I, I think if I'm right, that could have been one by one victory point. But yeah. it didn't, it was a table. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I think you were just unlucky with some of your key to wound rolls against that one biker where you rolled two ones. Two ones on that, yeah, exactly. He should he should have died. He should have died to the Thunder yeah. He should have gone, boom, you're all dead. Yeah. But he didn't. So yeah. But it's it's kind of a sad goodbye to seventh, but probably not that sad. No. Not that sad actually. I, I kind I really prefer vehicles and wounds because before with an A V, mm. so someone had dropped, say, a melter. Next to your land raider with your wolfing in, yep. got a lucky pen, yep. right? and then on the pen chart, so they roll the five or more. That's it. Your land raider's gone. It does, and also the fact that we were just, we were saying as well that that dreadnought in seventh would have gone into combat with oh, that yeah. land raider with a power fist. Yeah, chewed it, smashed it. It had needed force a glance, force a pen, four or five dice. So you'd have done it quite easily. Yeah, you'd have yeah. blown, you'd have blown that tank up. Maybe two rounds of combat, or at least weapon destroyed, shaking it, stunned yep. it, immobilized it, make it useless for the rest of the game. Now there's none of that, and you're just yeah. whittling down my my whole points, uh, whole points, my wombs, mm. which I've got sixteen of. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Sixteen wombs on a land raider. It's yes. mind you, your flyers got fourteen. Yeah, man, in one hundred and sixty stock. Yeah, and the land raiders kind what's, of got what's a bit your cheaper. Capacity ten on the land raider. Yeah, my flyers yeah. are twelve, and I can take any type of unit. I'm thinking Stormwall flyer needs to come out. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think Stormwall Flyer needs yeah. to come out now. With some Terminators in. Yeah, that'll be quite Terminators nice. Terminators are actually, with two wounds now, they make him so resilient because there's not that many things with two wounds actually in the game. I mean... Bromerus Marines have got them and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, they're obviously new and they want to sell. Yeah. They do look great. They do look, they look awesome. But that Repulsor... Mm. Mm. Sorry, going off tangent. Anyway. Uh, yeah, your Wolves, your Wolfing in Rhinos, yeah. I think. Thunderwolf Cavalry in the middle... Thunderwolf Cav would have done better if you didn't have that stupid tool poison and literally you oh, yeah. shot everything at it. Yeah. Now, Gaze Workshop have said Death Stars are dead. Thunderwolf Cav are in my Death Star and have been. Oh, you wolf them with your Death Star in that Land Raider. Uh, I'd say the Thunderwolf Cavalry are more. Now, you oh, concentrate yeah. all of your fire on it. You had your bike squads, you had your two kill teams, you had yeah. your two flyers shooting yeah. at them and some of them were hit, wounding on me on two pluses. Yeah. But if that had been normal shots... Hmm. Would they have survived a little bit well, longer? Well, normal bolters would have wounded on five, so you would have yeah. got less yeah. than half that number of wounds. So are Death Stars dead? I think Death Stars in the point of teaming up yeah. and passing on things, so Tau and Eldar. Mm. Pa- yes, but can you still take Death Stars in your own faction? Yes, you can. Yeah, um, I mean, Death Watch quite lucky because you can have kill teams if you've got a Terminator, Bite, yeah. Vanguard, Vet, and they get all those rules. Yeah. So... And these are two. These are two tournament lists as well because we're both going to yeah. Northwest Open mm-hmm. up at War Game Store. It's run by Ace Face, and I'm taking my Space Wolves and yeah. I'm tinkering my list. I think it's a two thousand point tournament this year. Yeah. And you're taking Death Watch. Uh, time between Death Watch or Dark Angels. I think Death Watch are good. I think they've proven that. Yeah. I th- mate, I think they're brilliant, and I think that's really a good. Lot, quite a bit of units actually for two K. But yeah, I mean, I was surprised. I mean, in my Land Raider, there was about. 600 points because my Wolfen squads are expe- oh, probably yeah. even more than that actually. you told them to the nine. I have told them out but they are expensive that Land Raider is 235 points yeah. whatever it is now um, Thunderwolf Cav squad expensive like 600 points now oh yeah I mean three wounds each they were very unlucky you got to think how many shots are piled into them oh yeah 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 exactly and I've got another three guys waiting to be finished so I can run two squads for them so oh, if, yeah. for a tournament list That'll work quite well, but for a friendly game, which Tom doesn't understand the word of... Um, how many, many Wolfen and Thunderwolves? I knew you were facing you, and you'd bring cheese. Um, you need another troops choice, though. I do. I need, so you need to get those command points. I They're need to get command... useful. Yeah, now this is the thing. I've only got two troop choices for my Space Wolves, which means mm. I don't get any command points, which is a little bit of a drawback. Yeah, I think... Because command points are massive, and I think once we get our individual codexes... There's going to be new stuff that we can spend yeah. our, co- co- uh, our command points on and yeah. they're going to be tailored for your army and they are going to be awesome. So it's really important yeah. you take them. So please leave us a comment then, guys. What do you think to the first game of 8th edition? Like it? Did we get much wrong, I suppose, is the other question. I, th- I think... I think not. We might have done. I, don't I think know. we got the disembarking from the vehicles. We're so used to disembarking six. It's actually only three. Yeah, okay. So we It wouldn't have made no difference. I'd have still smashed your face in with my wolf. And, um, please leave us a like. Uh, it does help. How many were left alive at the end of the game? There was none. How many was left alive of the stuff that they went into combat with? One damn biker because he survived somehow. Yes, he did. Anyway, um, and as always, we will see you on the next one.